Now to new video. Stockton police have released body camera video of a deadly shooting showing one of their officers killing a woman on a dead end road after a pursuit. The family of that woman says officers wrongfully killed their mother, but the use of force expert we talked to believes the video may show this was justified. A warning, what you're about to see is hard to watch. 54-year-old Tracy Gaeta was shot and killed by Stockton police February 22nd. Stockton police releasing multiple surveillance videos and body camera video showing the moment leading up to the shooting and when she was killed. This video shows an officer stopped at a red light when the driver of a gray car hit the officer's car before driving off. That prompted a pursuit and police say Gaeta made a U-turn on the on-ramp of I-5. Surveillance video shows Gaeta driving down a one-way and blowing through a red light. The pursuit ends at Rollerson Road at a dead end. A Stockton canine officer pulls in behind her, and that's when this happens. 19 is ramming me, he's ramming me. Copy. 16 seconds after the officer initially opened fire on Gaeta, the body camera video shows her vehicle moving forward. The officer opens fire again as Gaeta begins to drive. While attempting to turn her car around, the officer opened fire again. In total, about 30 gunshots can be heard in a span of about 32 seconds. I feel like they wrongfully killed my mom. Um, there were so many other ways they could have went about it. Her daughter says Gaeta lived in Sacramento and she has no idea why she was in Stockton that day. She says her mom may have been experiencing a mental breakdown. It just doesn't even seem right. My mother was scared and, you know, she would never try to hurt anybody harm anyone. So I think the officer, you know, didn't need to use such excessive force and use his gun and shoot so many times. I would probably put pretty high odds are going to say it was a justified shooting. And I suppose you, know, you could justify it. On the other hand, it just seems like this was a uh, you know, unnecessary as well. Stuart Katz, an attorney with decades of experience working on police shooting cases, says it will be easier to justify the officer unloading the first magazine, but the second is questionable. She's clearly trying to drive away at that point, in my mind, but she's not driving towards him at that point either. She's not backing up again. She's trying to get away. This video just uh, clears up that, you know, for me, that my mother was still in the innocent. She was still innocent. To me, that's what I see. The Stockton Police Department says a multi-agency critical incident investigation is now underway, as well as an internal departmental use of force review.